Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana has hardly moved since yesterday, just a little bit of a, a small roller coaster ride, a little bit of up and down. Um, no point here really going into the micro count. I will at the end of the video give, give you a few ideas what this could be from a micro count perspective. Um, but again, bear in mind the micro counts are very fragile and oops and uh, they you know especially on a low time frame if i was put a micro count on there i could tell you in the next video it's probably it's probably it probably has to be revised um so i don't want to give you the false impression that those micro counts are very stable or always correct no indeed it is looking like um just sideways range movement here at the moment we have these dotted lines here which indicate the price or certain price extremes in the range, strong support and resistance. The top that we've made and the peak and basically the top of the structural range is here at 2670, 2680. This is where we peaked in this wave one in January, end of January. Um, the low of the range here, the structural range in my opinion is this strong support area at 1970. However, we also have support at this 2130 level, um, this is Fibonacci support. Yeah, it is Fibonacci support. It's a 78.6 Fib level of this move that started on the 13th of February, went to the upside. Here, it's 2130. That's why we had a bounce here a few days ago, um, but nothing too significant. Only here on the smaller time frame. And then we've got the 2465 level, which is um, based on the current wave count here, where we say, okay, we probably are coming down in a C wave to the downside. This is the current boundary for the wave two. Now the top of the wave two, a break above that would unlock higher prices, first of all, to the top of the range, and then maybe even to the Fibonacci resistance level up there at 2950. So primary expectation at the moment, First of all, you need to understand it's trading in the range. So this can bounce up and down before it really makes a clear direction. Yeah, when you have a range like this, the market hasn't really fully made up its mind yet. We've got a few possibilities how it can unfold and it's impossible in the current situation to say, yeah, okay, this is definitely, you know, B wave is finished and we're coming down in the C wave for sure. You know, uh, some people think that, but you can't do that. Um, and also I want to avoid that you misunderstand that this is the count until it gets invalidated. This is the trend. And we talk about the trend here. Um, talk about targets and the wave count, but be aware that because this still looks overall corrective, corrective wave patterns can morph into other structures when they tend to, or when they make a decision, because in a corrective structure, the market hasn't fully made up its mind yet, especially when we just move in a range like this. But we're gonna talk about that in this, um, in this video. <coughs> okay, so let's, um, First, take a look at the overall overall primary expectation. The overall primary expectation is that we moved up here since the end of December in a wave one impulse peaked here. It's not the most beautiful impulse, but it is one peaked here at 2970 um, pretty much, uh, 2980, uh, yeah, 26, 2680. We then came down in an A wave. The A wave was a three wave move. If the A wave is a three wave move, you would expect the B wave rally at least sort of to the 90% retracement of the wave A, which happened. Okay, so we can class currently B wave as finished. That's why I'm currently focusing on the C wave to the downside. However, what is not out of, you know, it is certainly possible that the B wave extends out, but we get to that in a minute. So primary expectation would be to come down in a C wave eventually into this region between $12 and 1740 but it doesn't need to happen straight away. So there are a few options how this could unfold just to make you understand, to so get an understanding of, you know, um, likelihoods and everything. Well, a B wave, B wave minimum is here in this scenario, the 90% retracement that would have been $26. We reached that. However, maximum sort of that you would expect is 29.50. So it could very well be, as long as we're holding this 20, uh, the 78.6 FIP level at 21.30, that with a high likelihood, we're doing something like this. And that the B wave, which is a three wave move, extends. A lot of coins can do that at the moment. A, B, C. And this will become more, this is likely or possible with a certain likelihood, as long as we're holding 2130, which is the 78.6 retracement of this advance, and we'll get even more likely above 2465. So we would then rally in a C wave 
of a larger B wave and would eventually come down in my opinion, okay? So these are the possibilities within the primary expectation. So you need to be watching these key support resistance levels here that are highly relevant. In the alternative count, we look at wave two finished already here instead of down there. So, however, do I believe it? Well, believing is always not really, you know, not really the best place to believe in, in financial markets because you can really only analyze what you see. But this reached only the 38.2 retracement, which was here at 1970. I always want to see a wave two come to the 50% retracement. Sometimes they don't reach it, but then I don't touch it, okay? Um, or don't trust it at least. So yeah, I mean, if we really rally significantly above 29.40 or 50, then I have to say, all right, probably wave two was already in and we're doing something like that and break out. But that's not what I see in immediately. You just need to be aware of the possibility. You know, also I don't have a crystal ball can't walk on water. So if that suddenly happens, at least you know about the possibility, you can make your choices here. But for me in the short term, the trend is down, yeah, because it's just corrective after we finished an impulse. Um, yeah, and had the move up been clearly impulsive, you know, we, we could have said, all right, maybe we do something like Bitcoin where we peaked here only in three waves. This year was a wave four low and we're pu pumping up in a, in a wave five extension. You know, that's possible as well, but all of that will only get more likely above 29.50. Still to go higher, a decent possibility as long as we're holding 21.30, getting more likely above 24.65 and below 21.30, the trend will accelerate down. I think that's to, you know, that, that's sort of in the most simple form to put it. Um, until then, be aware we're in a range. This can really rally or rally sideways, yeah. Move sideways for a while um, before it makes a decision. That's why I've got my, my grid bot still running up and down, yeah. Would be happy if it goes up a little bit, you know, making some profits, selling and then going down again, buying again, you know. Um, I let the grid bot do that. It's it's far of a too, too messy structure, but you can trade it manually if you like to, like the ranges here, the price extremes, which I've highlighted here. But yeah, eventually I would like to see the wave two end in this region. Also, if I'm looking at, you know, the length of the A wave and we go to the high of the B wave, then the one to one ratio was reached or would be reached here again at round about that $19.70 uh, $19 level. But the 1.618 extension would point to 1555, basically into our green support area. So normally in a C wave, you would expect it to go below the A wave low. So for me, most likely this area down here. So if we then talk about a microcon perspective here, well, there are um, a few ideas I have. I mean, this could either be, but it's too early to confirm that a B wave triangle, yeah, because the move up looks corrective, the move down looks rather corrective, to be honest, at this stage. So could very well be we do something like this, A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave, E wave in a triangle, before it comes down in the C wave, that we're still in the B wave. The B wave is a triangle. A triangle is a sideways structure. Um, that's a possibility. Or that the C wave indeed has started and that the C wave is a diagonal. Actually, the way this currently looks, it could rather be that the move down was the wave one as an ABC. The move up will be a wave two, A, B, C in two. And that we then come down in a three uh, and that would be a three wave move as well, ABC, yeah. And then in five, four and five. So that's how it could work out. Um, or if we get the higher B wave, could also be an A wave, B wave, C wave. See, th this is why I mean, often with the micro counts, especially when you don't have a clearly impulsive structure here to the downside, that would be easier. But at the moment, it leaves doors open to many possibilities. So we are just in the range. Okay, that is my view about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.